I can draw the sun with the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi everyone, I'm Nick Brule, better known as the Bad Kitty Guy. And I'm going to talk to you today about how you can make your own comics. Now, comics, as you know, is just a way of telling a story. But it's a very unique way. It's a way you tell a story with both words and pictures. And the pictures part is kind of the part that makes a lot of kids nervous because they get concerned that they can't make a comic because they don't know how to draw. I'm going to let you in on a secret. You don't need to know how to draw in order to make comics. So in order to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you an exercise that's kind of an adaption from a book I did called Bad Kitty Makes Comics, and so can you. I mean that sincerely. So all you need is a sheet of paper, pencil, pen, crayon, marker. I'm going to use a marker. Ready, set, draw. Now, the first thing a comic needs is a panel. Now, some people call it a box, some people call it a frame. The common vernacular is panel. If you can make a dot like that, then you can make a comic. We're going to call that our character. We can pretend it's an ant. We can pretend it's somebody who's standing very far away. But we need to give this person something to say. So I'm just going to give him the words, I'm lonely. We've just given this dot, an emotion. The character now actually has a layer. Now, if we were to read this story without any pictures, it would read like, once upon a time there was an ant, and he said, I'm lonely. The end. Not the most captivating literature. So we're going to do something more. I've got this prepared and ready for you. As you can see, I've drawn in one, two, three, four more frames. Because what this comic needs is another character. See, once you have another character, you can create a relationship. So I have my first dot. Now I'm going to have another dot come in. And he's going to say, do you want to play? Well, our first dot is going to say, sure. There's our second dot, and the both of them are going to say together, hooray. Now, this story is going to be a little longer. And if it doesn't have any pictures, this story would read like, once there was an ant who said, I am lonely. Another ant came along and asked, do you want to play? The first ant said, sure. Then the two of them together said, hooray, the end. Let's make it even more challenging. And again, I'm prepared for this. As you can see, what I have now are eight panels. The first two are the same as before. I have an ant who says, I'm lonely. Another one comes along and says, do you want to play? Now we're going to make it more interesting. Here are our ants. And the first ant, instead of saying yes, he says, no. That no is really important. Because what I've done here is I created a very important component that all stories need, and that's called conflict. Conflict is what any story needs to make a more dramatic interest in the story. Conflict can be a lot of different things. It can be about a character who lost something or about a character who is lost. In this case, it's about two characters who have a disagreement. I'm going to leave all this blank, because this is going to be for you to finish. You have to figure out two things. One, you have to figure out why there is a conflict. Why did this character say no? And then you have to figure out how the two of them can resolve this conflict. Maybe you can do it with just five more panels. Maybe you'll need a lot more panels. That's the great thing about comics. It can be as many panels and as many pages as you want it to be to tell your story. OK. I got you started. It's up to you to finish the rest. 
We would love to see your comics. Send them to us. Find out how in the post below.